Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the best Skyrim mods. I'm excited to share with you some amazing mods that will enhance your Skyrim gaming experience. Whether you're looking for new gameplay mechanics, improved graphics, or just some fun additions, we've got you covered. If you click the subscribe like button once before watching the video, it helps a lot to grow the channel. So, without further ado, let's dive into the top 7 mods for this week. First, Sons of Nern Whiterun. Sons of Nern Whiterun is a mod for Skyrim that focuses on enhancing the appearance of 42 male NPCs from the city of Whiterun. The mod author has divided the mod into sections for each city, with plans to merge all the files into one at the end of development. In addition to the NPC overhauls, small settlements, farms, and other locations will also be included in the final mod. The mod comes with an ESPFE file, which is an updated version of the ESP file format that allows for more data to be stored in the file. The resources for the mod are packed into a BSA archive, while facegens and facetons are separate. This setup allows for the mod to be easily installed and uninstalled without leaving any leftover files in the game directory. Sons of Nern Whiterun is also designed to be compatible with other popular mods such as the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch and AI overhaul. Additionally, the mod is compatible with Schlongs of Skyrim, a mod that adds male genitalia to the game. One of the most significant features of Sons of Nern Whiterun is the custom textures with different variations of bodies. The mod author has created unique textures for each character, giving them a distinct appearance. The variations include different body types, muscle definition, and skin tones, providing a level of realism that is not present in the vanilla game. Overall, Sons of Nern Whiterun is a comprehensive mod that adds a significant amount of detail and realism to the male NPCs in Whiterun. The mod is still in development, but it promises to be a must-have for any player looking to enhance the visual experience of Skyrim. Second, Elven Armors and Weapons Retexture. Elven Armors and Weapons Retexture mod is a texture pack mod created for Skyrim that aims to retexture the Elven Armor set, shield, and weapons, as well as Thalmor Robes, Creation Club Elven Hunter, and Creation Club Elite Crossbow's Elven Crossbow. Additionally, the mod offers optional retextures for Amidianborn's content add-ons Elven Thalmor Armor and Oblivion Artifacts packs Sinweaver, Caliban's Grim Retort, Witsplinter, and Frostworm. The mod only contains textures and does not include meshes or plugins, making it easy to add or remove from the game at any time. The mod is compatible with other mods that work with vanilla Elven textures, such as Heavy Armory and Animated Armory. The FOMOD installer allows players to pick and choose which textures they want to install. The textures in the mod have a resolution of 2K, with the exception of the chest armor textures, which are 4K. For players with lower-end hardware, there is a half-resolution version of the mod available in the optional files. In summary, Elven Armors and Weapons Retexture mod is a comprehensive texture pack that enhances the appearance of various Elven-themed items in Skyrim. It is compatible with other popular mods and offers customizable installation options for players. The high-resolution textures add a level of detail and realism to the game that is sure to please players looking to enhance their Skyrim experience. Third, Better Pelts and Hides. Better Pelts and Hides is a mesh and texture replacer mod for Skyrim that aims to improve the quality of the game's pelts and hides. The mod currently includes retextures for the elk pelt and the deer, reindeer pelt, with plans to add more pelts and hides in the future, including the horse hide and the bear pelt in various flavors. The mod author previously released the slightly better small antlers and deer hide mod, which focused on improving the appearance of those specific items. Better pelts and hides builds on that work and aims to improve the overall quality of all pelts and hides in the game. As a mesh and texture replacer, the mod can be safely installed and uninstalled without any negative impact on the player's save file. Players can try out the mod and decide if they like the changes it brings to the game. In summary, Better Pelts and Hides is a mod that enhances the look of Skyrim's pelts and hides, with plans to expand the selection of improved items in the future. 
The mod is easy to install and remove, making it a low-risk option for players looking to enhance their Skyrim experience. Fourth, Undead Snow Elves. The Undead Snow Elves mod is a unique addition to Skyrim that adds a new type of undead creature to the game. While encounters with zombies and whites are common in Skyrim, encountering a reanimated ancient snow elf is something that was thought to be just a myth. The snow elves disappeared millennia ago, but this mod brings them back in a corrupted form, rising from their mummified bodies beneath the ice. This mod adds four variants of the undead snow elf, which spawn only in the Forgotten Valley, usually near ruins of their civilization. All of them will respawn, except for the unique undead snow elf named Knight Paladin Mithrabor. He appears in the Forgotten Valley Forest, replacing the Falmer Warmonger who in the vanilla game carries Oriole's shield. With this mod, Oriole's shield can now be obtained from the unique undead snow elf boss Knight Paladin Mithrabor. In conclusion, the Undead Snow Elves mod adds a new level of excitement and challenge to Skyrim by introducing a previously unheard of type of undead creature. It is a must-have mod for any Skyrim adventurer looking for something new and unexpected. Fifth, No More Blinding Fog. In the game, camera-attached particle effects are used to create fog in various locations. However, in some instances, these effects can be overwhelming and cause the fog to completely obscure the screen, making it difficult to see. This is especially true in places like Ingle Barrow and Enchuan Cell. To address this issue, No More Blinding Fog reduces the transparency of the camera-attached fog particle effects by two-thirds, while still retaining one-third of the original intended atmosphere of the dungeons. The effectiveness of the mod will vary depending on the player's ENB configuration, and the mod only edits camera-attached particle effects for fog. The mod author notes that this is just a port of their Oldrum mod, No More Blinding Fog, which was created in 2015. They have been using this mod for a few years but were too lazy or forgot to port it to Skyrim. With this mod, players can enjoy a more subtle fog effect in their game, without it becoming overwhelming or obstructing their view. 6th, Auto Input Switch. Auto Input Switch is a mod for Skyrim that allows users to switch between gamepad and keyboard, mouse control seamlessly. This is particularly useful for players who use both control schemes and have experienced frustration in the past when they couldn't use their mouse with their gamepad plugged in. The mod detects when the user switches between devices and updates the UI accordingly, similar to how many other games handle this functionality. However, the mod still respects the user preference setting for gamepad enablement, so users must ensure that this is enabled in order to benefit from the changes. Overall, Auto Input Switch provides a convenient solution to a common issue for Skyrim players who use multiple control schemes. 7th, Natural Waterfalls. Natural Waterfalls is a mod that overhauls every waterfall in the Tamriel world space. The mod replaces each waterfall location with new models and textures, adding hundreds of vanilla wet rocks to remove seams caused by transparent falls. Sound markers have also been moved to better fit each location. The mod also replaces all foam and rapids with edited meshes and new textures, providing much more variety than before. However, the mod is not compatible with any other mod that directly alters waterfall locations. No nav meshes were edited, and the mod only adds waterfalls in the locations where they were already found. Additionally, Markarth was edited to use new waterfalls, so patches may be necessary for anything that alters its world space. And that's it for this week's best Skyrim mods. I hope you found some exciting new mods to try out in your game. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you have any suggestions for mods you'd like to see in future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Skyrim content, and I'll see you next time.